What's going on crypto miners and welcome back to the channel. Well, the team over at Gecko Science sent me over a brand new miner that hasn't been released to the public yet. Let's take a closer look at the smart A2Z. So what do we have here? Two miners? Uh, we're gonna leave this one as a giveaway later in the video. Let's circle back to that. So let's go ahead and get started here, taking a closer look at the brand new Gecko Science Smart A2Z Miner. And let's get this, do a little shake here to get this opened up. There we go. And here is kind of the first thing that you do see inside the box. You just have this blue, which love to see it. We never, we rarely see miners that are actually any other color other than that silver and that black. So let's go ahead and get this opened up here. And you might be curious, like what in the world is this thing? All right, so take a look, check this out. This very much is like a shout out to some of those home tinkerers at home. So we're gonna circle this around first and then we're gonna talk about it here. I believe this is the front. Here's our top. We got one side there, one side there, and then nothing, just feet on the bottom here. So guys, this is the Gecko Science Smart A to Z Home Solo Bitcoin Miner. And this is meant to run entirely independent on your desk, or on a workbench, or in your garage, or in your basement, putting out a little bit of heat, but nothing too, too crazy. So as I said, this is a home solo Bitcoin miner. And guess what? It's coming in at seven terahash. It's absolutely wild how far along solo Bitcoin miner hash rate has improved. It's just an increasing and increasing day by day. I mean, next we're gonna be talking about 10 terahash if things keep up. And it's crazy to think out of just this little box, we're getting seven terahash. On the back side here, we have a fan for cooling. Uh, we have a USB type C port, which I don't think is used, but we'll have to see when we get closer into it. And we also have a power plug right here. But other than that, this is really about it. Now on the front, we have a USB-C as well. We have an SD card slot. And then we actually have a screen here, real eager to see what comes up on there. And I don't know what this little black knob is. I'm taking a guess that this is actually part of the wireless because I've seen on other models coming out of Gecko Science, there's usually a little wireless dongle here. I wonder if they went to this end because it uh, less breakable, right? That little gold piece for wireless breaks real easy. My guess is this is actually like part of your wireless antenna. Uh, as you can see though, there is no ethernet on this. So this is entirely meant to run off of wireless. And it does come with, I'm gonna put this off to the side here. It does come with a beefy power supply. I mean, look at the size of this power adapter here. <laughs> this is no joke. Uh, and on the back here, we have input 100 to 240 volts, 1.8 amps uh, is what we're getting out of this. And the output is 24 volts on eight amps. So let's get this plugged in. All right, here we go, moment of truth. Now I have gone ahead and set up my meter box watt meter so we can see you know, how many watts we're getting for seven total terahash. So let's go ahead. Here is our power adapter. I'm gonna try to do this one handed here. Oh, see that little spark there? I wonder if that was me, oh my goodness. All right, oh, I like the blue glow. There's a blue glow in here. I don't know if you guys can see that. Let me turn off the light real quick. Check that out, that's pretty cool. Little red light and a blue glow in there. All right, so let's turn back on the light. I don't see anything on the screen quite yet. Uh, let's flip it around here. We're getting air out the back side of this unit currently right now, um, so it's kind of doing a push pull, like it's pulling the air through the unit over top of the ASIC and then blowing everything out the back side here. Well, oh, there we go. Look at that, that just came on. So it does take a few minutes. I like the little gecko science screen there. Terminus A2, checking for internet. So it, I haven't connected it in any way yet. This is the first time booting this up. So it should go ahead and hopefully give us some type of prompt here on 
how to go ahead and get this connected. All right, so it's actually been a few minutes and this miner is absolutely bringing me back. So in order to get the wireless actually working properly, uh, actually something that some of you guys that have been in the industry for a while would totally understand and get. I actually had to pop out the SD card here, put it in my computer. There was a text file, a Wi-Fi text file that you actually have to put in your wireless SSID, the name and the password, save it and pop it back in and off you go. I haven't done something like that in a really long time. So it was actually kind of fun, you know, bringing me back a little bit to the way things used to be significantly. Anyways, let's go ahead and jump over to the computer and learn a little bit more about the Gecko Science A to Z. All right, so we're over here on Gecko Science website. And once you come over here, you can go ahead and click on Shop Now. And this is going to bring up all of their products. Right now, at the time of recording this video, the Terminus A to Z is not on here. It actually hasn't been listed yet. We were able to get an early version of this unit. Now, the Terminus A2 looks super familiar, right? It's got like the Gecko Science logo up on the top. It's that blue look. But as you can see, this one has like this antenna in the corner. So this is actually a different version of this. And you can see here, stock speeds four terahash up to five terahash. Our current unit is actually coming in at six terahash and supports up to seven terahash. We're gonna test that out more today. But if you guys are interested, I'll put a link directly down below. By the time you guys are watching this, there will be a full product page available with more details on the A to Z model. Now, jumping over to mining now, if you are looking for this unit, it actually does not exist over here. Because I know that's a place where a lot of you guys go right away to figure out like, hey, you know, uh, is this available? What does it do? Profitability, if I want to pull mine with it. Guys, this is absolutely not a pool miner. This is a solo Bitcoin miner. I would not recommend it to be honest with you, but taking a look here, let's go ahead and jump over to a calculator to get, just get some ideas, kind of show this out proof of concept. So our hash rate here is coming in at, we're going to put six Tera hash, but we're going to push it to seven here in a minute and test it out. And our Watts at the wall right now, if I check, we're at 117 Watts. Okay. And we're going to put our electric rate at 15 cents. And let's go ahead and hit calculate. And I want to show you guys here, the, the revenue per day is 25 cents. The cost is 42 cents. So this unit to run every day makes negative 17 cents a day. It does not make sense to pull mine with this unit. Please do not buy this for pool mining. So if we take a closer look over at solaluck.com, this is a website you can go ahead and put in your hash rate, and it's going to go ahead and give you the chances to hit a Bitcoin block. Now, this is a solo miner, which means it's a lottery miner. And there is a Bitcoin block hit every 10 minutes. You can see there's a countdown timer right there on the screen. 30 seconds left until another Bitcoin block is hit and hopefully another lucky winner. But the nice thing is, is because it's a lottery miner, you don't need to buy a new lottery ticket every 10 minutes. You actually get to recycle that lottery ticket or that miner and on its own, just set it, forget it and let it run. But at six Tera hash, which is what we saw previously, it's coming in at 3,000, one in 3,445 chance per year. Now, jumping over to the actual miner dashboard, I'm going to refresh this one more time here. This is actually kind of nice. It gives me a very like early 90s retro feel to this. It shows your block height, the BTC price, as well as the 24 hour change. And take a look at this. This is cool. So the blue line is our temperature. The green line is our hash rate, which I love how consistent that is. And then our orange line is the price of Bitcoin. That's actually pretty funny there, the way that works out. So right now we're coming in on an average of six Tera hash a second. Uh, you can see we're actually mining to my local Bitcoin pool and node. So I'm gonna show that to you guys in just a second. So if we click settings here, it has a frequency, voltage. Uh, and then the nice thing is, is it allows us to change these things. So this is how we're gonna test out pushing this to seven terahash per my conversation with their team. Uh, so that's gonna be a lot of fun. And the mining pool URL is my local Bitcoin node. I actually have a full video on this guys on how to set the, up your own at home in like 10 minutes. It's very basic and very simple and easy. My Bitcoin address and I've named it Gecko A to Z. And you can actually decide what it shows up on the screen right here 
down at the bottom, which is really conven pretty convenient at the end of the day. So I am running my own solo Bitcoin node here at home. It's running off of like a $100 HP mini PC. Uh, and we do have the Bitcoin node running on here, synced up as you guys can see. And we also are running the open source app public pool. Uh, and this is how we were able to achieve this very simple and very easy. So when I jump over to my Bitcoin address on this pool, uh, and we can go ahead and see I have some bit axes running right now, some BMM 101s, uh, the coffee miner. Uh, here is the Gecko Science 2 A2Z miner. Look at that coming in on pool side 6.2. We have a NerdQ Hydro and a Wildcat miner and three of the Magic Miner, the BG01 and BG02. So we're averaging right around 30 terahash currently right now. That's what that orange line is that you guys see there. Um, but we have seen it bump up a little bit here as blue line in just 10 minutes, probably just with this miner getting online and getting configured. So let me see what I can do because I want to play with this miner and see if we can get this pushed up to which I heard can support seven terahash. All right, it's been a little while and take a look. We are coming in at seven terahash. That is absolutely awesome. But what is the watts, right? Well, to achieve seven terahash, we need to go ahead and push things and we are at 166, 167 watts. So six terahash, about 117 to 120 watts, seven terahash at about 166 to 167. Now, I know one of the questions you guys may have, especially if you want to run this at home, is, you know, how loud is it? Well, let's go ahead and put our dB meter here and take a look. So it's about 55 to 56 dB. It is someone having an oscillating fan nearby running is kind of what I'm hearing, like a box fan or something like that. It's nothing in absolutely insane at all. So, all right, what now? Well, Let's go ahead and talk about our giveaway. Huge shout out to the team over at Gecko Science for sending us a second unit to give away to you guys. So how do you enter the giveaway? Well, I would love to hear your creative names for this miner. The Terminus A2Z Smart, I, I don't know. What do you guys think? I want to enter the giveaway, comment down below and let me Come up with a creative name for this. What would you name this thing if you had the opportunity? Comment down below and in two weeks, we'll pick one winner. Guys, huge shout out once again to the team over at Gecko Science for sending us this unit for review. It will be listed on their website today, the day of releasing this video. Go check it out and happy mining.